to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this glowing Halloween wreath. This is a little bit more crafty than some of our projects on here, but I needed some Halloween decorations and this one is pretty cool. So you can find all of these supplies at a crafting store. You need a wooden wreath, black spray paint, and I like the matte black spray paint. You need some LED lights for those lights. These are purple ones and some batteries. You also need black pipe cleaner. And if you want to cut out some shapes to put on top of it, you can use this foam paper, a hot glue gun to attach things to the web, and then these are just some accessories I found at a dollar store and a craft store. So you can attach these to your wreath, but just the spider web looks pretty cool. The first thing you want to do is get your spray paint, shake it around, and cover the wreath with it. So you can go from different angles to try to get all of the wood covered. And make sure once you've spray painted the whole side, you flip it over and cover the other side as well. But let it dry first, then flip it over. And spray paint the other side. Okay, so you wanna make sure you are working on the back of the wreath when we put the spider web on. So the front of the wreath is going to be rounded and the back of the wreath is going to be more flat. So that's how you can tell. So make sure you put it with the top side down. Grab your pipe cleaner. And to make these long enough, we're actually going to attach two of them together. And you're really just like tying a knot between them and stretching them across the top of the wreath. And to make it easier for you to see how to string these, I'm just gonna put a little diagram on the right side of the screen so you can see what it looks like. And you're going to attach it to the wreath just by wrapping it around one of the branches and kind of tying it. Okay, so here's just a close up and I'll just show you. I'm just looping it under this branch and then I'm just twisting it around itself. I'm just pulling it back and then twisting it around itself so it'll stay there. And this is kind of the fun part. So you've got a nice connection, see it's not gonna move. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the upper side. Just loop it around and tie it together. You're going to be doing this with four different lengths of pipe cleaner. So you're going to attach it to one side and then attach it to the side across from it. Okay, so here is the diagram. So you start with your circle and then you're going to attach your first diagonal onto it on the both of the sides. And then you're going to do the same thing with the next piece. So we're not worrying about the middle yet. We're not attaching it to it. They're just kind of floating on top of each other. Then grab the next one and put it top to bottom right through the middle of the X. And then your next one is just gonna go across the middle. So we kind of have like a pie with eight slices. Okay, now take a small piece and you're just gonna bring it through the middle and twist it and tie it around the other pieces so that the middle will stay there and those pieces are kind of secured because once we make the web, they can move a little bit. Okay, there's going to be three different parts of the web that we're going to attach. So you just attach it to one of the lines you've already made, curve it a little bit, and then just twist it around maybe once or twice around the pipe cleaner next to it. Twice will make sure it doesn't move around. And then I like to just bend it as I'm attaching it so my lines in the middle of the spider web stay the same. So you're gonna do the same thing with each of these and we're just going to be doing this three times. So here's a closer view of how I'm doing this, just wrapping it around. I don't know how much help, this might be the hardest part for some of you. So I thought I would just include a little bit more information about it. As you can see, I'm kind of bending it a little bit as I am attaching it to itself. And I just wanted to get one in real time just so you could see how it's not as easy <laughs> for me as it probably is for you. So don't give up. It ends up looking really cool. Also, your spider web might not be symmetrical like mine. Maybe it's more lopsided or asymmetrical, which actually looks really cool. So that would just mean that the center of the spider web is like a little higher or lower or on the other side. Okay, now do the same thing with the other two pieces attaching it. You can use scissors to cut your pipe cleaner smaller if you don't have enough to go across or just grab other pieces to keep continuing it. Now add the third part of your spider web and you can't even see it on one side of mine. And then just do what you did on the steps before and go ahead and attach the pipe cleaner and bend it. And then you are finished with the web. So now you wanna turn it over. So now we're working on the back side of the web. And this is just to show you some ideas of silhouettes that I cut out with different shapes. You could put those on it if you wanted on the back side or the front side, doesn't really matter. Or you could also use these other shapes and I chose to use this black spider. These ones look pretty cool. Those are from the dollar store, Dollar Tree, which is awesome. 
So I like to attach whatever I'm going to attach before I put the lights behind it. So go ahead and grab whatever you want to attach. I'm gonna use this spider. Use your hot glue gun to add some glue to it and then you're just going to place it, press it down somewhere on there where it's gonna stick and make sure it doesn't stick to your table. I just lifted mine up a little bit so it wouldn't do that. And now you're gonna flip it over and we are going to attach the lights to the back side of it. Make sure your LED lights have batteries in them and go ahead and secure the battery pack to your wreath first using the pipe cleaners. And honestly, this is the part where I messed up and I should have redone this, but let's face it, I'm not gonna make two of these because I don't have time. What I wish I would have done was string the lights so that they line up with my spider web because what ends up happening is there's just the, the wire from the lights makes it so you can't see the lines of your spider web as well. You'll see me string the lights through and I'm just attaching with the pipe cleaner. I just wanted you to see how I did that. I just kind of looped around the branches and kept looping around the battery pack and then I just twisted it around itself. So once you do that, just grab your lights and you're going to string them through. And remember, I attached these like really randomly, but in the end I go back in and use pipe cleaner to kind of line them up with my spider web. So start doing that right now. Like I would take it right across and just follow your web. So I would bring it across like that and then I would just move to the next section and bring it across, next section, bring it across. Cause you can start to see how it's just not meshing too well. This is how you attach it. So bring the wire over and grab a pipe cleaner and you can cut them in half or in thirds. So you have smaller pieces and you wanna loop around the branches. You're going to attach the string from the lights or the wire from the lights to the branches so that it stays there and it's secure. So the best way I've found is just to loop it through and then come over the top and kind of twist it twice and just flatten your pipe cleaner. This is a very pipe cleaner intensive project, so that worked for me. Yeah, and then just string it back across. But remember, I would stay in line with the spider web, so don't look at the what I did. Okay, this is just another example. So I just had one tiny little light left, and so I just used my pipe cleaner to just secure that one light, and I tried to bring it kind of over into the center of my wreath a little bit and bend the wire over it, bend the pipe cleaner over it to keep it there. So you can kind of see I'm just pushing it back the other way. So like if you don't have enough to go across the whole spider web, you can just attach it to the web or you can attach it to the wreath. So there's a lot of ways to do this. And once you get to the end, you can use another pack of LED lights. I ended up using three sets of purple LED lights for this. I should probably put that in the beginning. You're gonna spend a lot of time hooking these lights on, so this would be a great time to listen to a podcast or your favorite Halloween music, something like that. And also remember, I did this probably the wrong way. I would just try to line these up with your spider web. Also, I would take off any tags if you have any on there, just probably better to remove them before you attach it. So you're gonna see in this next clip, it's sped up, but basically what I do is I just use the pipe cleaner to line those up. Also, getting your lights to just stay on and not blink is pretty hard. So for these, these lights, I figured out that you need to hold it for three seconds to turn it off, and then usually the first time I turned it on, it would stay, so. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is on my neighbor's lovely front porch. She has a much better looking front door than me. So a little bit spooky, fun for Halloween. Also, something you could do with this project, you can make it bigger, you could add silhouettes in front of it with that black foam paper. You could cut out shapes of bats or haunted houses or a witch on a broom. You could do so many things with this project. It was really, really fun to work on and uh, it is definitely crafty, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes we like to decorate the places that we live and I hope you have fun decorating for Halloween and for the holidays. Happy Halloween, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.